Valve update. Um, so it seems to be working now. Um, got this new resin, a two ton resin. It's a bit of a, bit of a pain to work with. It's a lot more viscous than the polyester resin. Um, I fun spinning it around my head on a bit of string. It's fitting here to try and get it to settle in the end. Um, and it got very sticky. But it seems to have sealed. These are different wires as well. These are the um, uh, inside of the Arctic Flex um, stranded uh, wire, but it's quite a lot coarser strands, so there's maybe more air gap in between the wires. Um, stripped piece of insulation and uh, tape the ends. A little blob of uh, white tech in the middle and bound it up with the inner tube over the surface and then cast this stuff in. Um, so yeah, we're up to 100 psi. No air leaks coming through the wires. Which is brilliant. Um, so it looks like we got a through hole that might work. And then thinking about having using these for the motors. So if there's six motors, uh, two descent motors, two maneuvering power motors, and a uh, thruster on the front here to make it more maneuverable, that would give us uh, three wires each, 15 there plus. The uh, catch mechanism on the bottom, another one. So 18 motor wires. Um, there's 21 wires here. That leaves a couple spare for the tether, or possibly putting the tether, removing that and putting the tether through there, and mounting in these holes or something. Don't know. Anyway, lots to play with. Quite pleased with that. Um, uh, it means you don't need any connectors at the end. Oh, waterproofing of the wires, but I guess it means if the wire breaks or if the cell water gets in, it might be more difficult to replace. Something to think about.